Hello, welcome to this demonstration of Tivoli Endpoint Manager version 8.1. In this session, we're going to see how easy it is to install this latest product, formerly um, based on BigFix, and now called Tivoli Endpoint Manager version 8.1. I've downloaded the installation media, and here I'm going to double click the setup.exe file. This now starts the installation. Okay, there's a, a missing prerequisite on my machine, so I'm going to go ahead and press yes. Let the installer install that. And let's select an evaluation version. I'll click next. As always, you must read the license agreement and click next. And here, let's go for an express installation. And this will also install SQL Server 2005 Express, which is bundled with, with the media. Um, remember, in production environments, uh, Express is not recommended. You should really go for a, um, a full version of SQL Server 2008 or SQL Server 2008 Release 2. Let's go for the default settings here. It's picked up the IP address of my machine, and we'll use the default port. Put in my name and my email address and the organization name. And we'll click next. Choose a suitable secure password and press next. Let's just have a look at the uh, CPU utilization on my machine. You can see not that much memory is being used. Um, CPU is not really being thrashed, so uh, installation seems to be moving along nicely. For managing a few hundred clients, the uh, documentation mentions uh, a, uh, a two to three gigahertz CPU with one gigabyte of RAM um, would be sufficient. And for larger environments, uh, let's say you want to support uh, 200,000 computers, you'd probably need 8 cores and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I'm installing this in a VMware session, and uh, the machine has been allocated, a, um, I think, about 4 gigabytes of RAM, and we've got uh, two CPUs allocated. So the memory usage is not high at all. Just a bit about the uh, Tivoli Endpoint Manager components. There's um, the, when we talk about the console, we're referring to the um, interface which will be used to do the administration of the environment. The Tivoli Endpoint Manager clients, also called the agents, they will be installed in every computer that you wish. Uh, to be under the management of your TEM environment, TEM being uh, the Tivoli Endpoint Manager. Um, the Tivoli Endpoint Manager server is uh, really the main uh, management server 
which has got the uh, interactive services, which include um, the application services, a web server, and the database server. And this component forms the heart of the environment. Th this uh, server piece coordinates the flow of information to and from the various computers we're managing and stores the results in the, the TAM database, which in our example will be our SQL uh, 2005 enterprise database. The TAM servers also include a built-in web reporting module, which allows users to connect via a web browser and view some very useful inventory and management and operational reports. There are TBD Endpoint Manager relays, which uh, allow us to take the load off of the management server and increase the efficiency of the system. Now, instead of having the agents connect directly to the, the TEM server, the agents will then connect to a relay. And this relay doesn't need to be a dedicated computer. It can be installed on um, Windows 2000, Windows XP, uh, Windows Vista, and, and various flavors of Linux and Unix. And finally, these, these consoles I mentioned, they um, uh, provide the interface and the system-wide view of all the computers on our network. One thing about the console, the console needs to run on a um, it's installed on, on a Windows machine uh, which has got IE7 or above installed and the actual hardware specs are pretty minimal, minimum of uh, 512 megabytes of RAM and a, at least a Pentium 3 class hyper machine. The TEM client or the agent um, can run on uh, Windows and Unix platforms. Um, We've got uh, support for HP UX, uh, Mac OS, we've got support for Linux, Red Hat, um, and also uh, we've got support for Solaris and various flavors of Windows as well. The installation is almost finished. Okay, the uh, wizard has completed. There is an installation guide, so pr press finish. Now here, if we were to uh, um, start, want to start managing the environment straight away, we can now deploy clients remotely through this wizard by selecting install remotely. I'm going to skip this and just press done. And here, let's just launch the uh, the console. I'll use the default settings. And here we can see this is launch the the big fix or the TBD Endpoint Manager console. We can now exit this installation guide. And that completes the demonstration of installing TBD Endpoint Manager version eight point one.